in Cape Town on the 27th of November, the International Tourism Film Festival Africa was finally able to celebrate its first official award ceremony at the lockdown edition of the ITFFA 2020 at the Radisson Red Hotel V&A Waterfront. We are obviously super chuffed having this event hosted at our hotel today. It's been a long wait. Obviously, um, the last eight months have put a spanner in the mix a little bit, but today is all about um, film, the festival, and the wonderful awards that will be presented today. And for us at Red and Red, it's an honor to be the chosen venue to have this great awards and events presented here. In 2019, the ITFFA boasted more than 860 entries from over 89 countries. In 2020, the Africa edition received 150 entries from 24 African countries. This just proved that the world at large had an ever-increasing appetite for South Africa and Africa as both a shoot location and a great place to visit for a holiday. Today our involvement here at the International Film Festival Africa is we are sponsoring some of the wines and we are hoping everybody will enjoy it. There are some really exciting things happening here today and we hope that you can come and visit us at the Grendel in the near future. Next up we have the first place in um, tourism products, Glamp the Winelands, produced by Delicious Boke. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> the competition was held in five categories, films that present the tourism potential of a city, region or an entire country of the African continent, films that tell about various types of tourism, including agro-tourism, gastronomic, ecotourism, health and adventure tourism. The excitement was palpable as award-winning entrants received their trophies and ended this rather peculiar year on a note of hope and encouragement. To further commemorate the event, the director of CIFFT flew in from Europe to present the Khan Dolphin to Westgrove and Sledgehammer Studios. ITFF Africa is being organized in cooperation with TIFT. TIFT is representing 14 hand-picked festivals about tourism films in four continents. So therefore we are very proud um, to have ITFFA here in Cape Town and to have today the award ceremony. In second place for tourism products, um, we have gastronomy, culinary experience at Piranha Lodge. Um, the client is Piranha Lodge and the producers are Live Tree Marketing and Media. Congratulations. <laughs> and then in first place, we have um, Mazinia. Um, Oh, I'm Zansi. My bad. Entries are now open for the international version of the ITFFA and dates for submission are the 1st of December 2020 and entries close on the 15th of March 2021.